classic hits and today's biggest tunes. Six Towns Radio. Hello, David Hay, and welcome to Stoke on Trent. Um, have you had a crash course in the Pottery's dialect in cuisine yet? Not yet. I literally just rolled into town, so I'm <laughs> looking forward to seeing what the, the locals have to offer. Yeah, of course. Um, CWH Promotions put this night on tonight. Um, they brought some great names to Stoke, including Mike Tyson, Sean Grayland, and now yourself. So you're in great company on these nights. Yeah, definitely. You know, they said they bring brought some of the greatest uh, of all time. Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm honoured to be to be up here. Yeah, of course. You're getting ready now for a big fight in June. Yeah. Manual Char, mm-hmm. MEN. Uh, how do you mentally and physically prepare yourself for these? Um, you just got to put in, a, put in the hard work. You got to train hard. You got to sacrifice, focus, watch your diet, watch time, what time you go to sleep. You really got to just realise that every person I fight from this point on is is going to be the best they've ever been. They're going to train harder. They know if they can beat me, they're you know, on the verge of you know, getting a world title shot. So they're going to train just as hard for me as they would do any any world title. So I've got to train like I am. I'm not, I'm not currently the heavyweight mm-hmm. champion, but I've got to train yeah. like I am because people will be coming at me like that. Yeah, he's been gunning for you, the one man. He has, for, yeah, for, you know, ever since um, his fight with Vitaly where he lost mm-hmm. on a cut. Yeah, he's been screaming and shouting he wants to fight me. And um, he actually gate crashed uh, my press conference after I beat Derek Chisora in Upton Park in front of 40,000 people does a great night he turned up and you know, I didn't know who he was at <laughs> your the face time. was a picture yeah I was like who the hell are you but anyway <laughs> since then you know he's, he's, he's put his uh, put his name out there on the map you know he's made some noise he had the decapitation t-shirt and mm-hmm. you no know, and, and it's gonna be great you know the Manchester arena I've been, I've been there you know many times before you know I've had two successful heavyweight title defenses there you know and I'm, I'm really excited uh, eventum.co.uk is the place to get your tickets and uh, tickets are going well it's gonna be a great great atmosphere there yeah of course uh, we Besides the boxing you've done, uh, I'm a celebrity yeah. out of here. <laughs> but another thing I've seen, which is much braver, was doing the skydive this year. Yeah, that, that, that was actually fun. That yeah. was really fun. I went to um, skydive Dubai, uh-huh. and uh, Michael Schumacher, of all people, happened to just turn <laughs> up at the same time. I was like, well, yeah, what's going on, Michael? He's like, hey, David. <laughs> so we actually went up there. He's actually a professional. You know, he, he came with his own um, parachute, and he just went up there and jumped out of the plane. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I did a tandem jump, so I was actually strapped to someone. So... Um, but he, he, he was a proper professional. He actually came out there and sort of grabbed my hand as we were free fall. We were free fall for about a minute. It's a really good experience. It's really fun, and um, no, he's a real good guy. Yeah, I'd rather go in the ring with you than do one of them jumps. <laughs> really well. it was, it's not actually that bad. I, I you're strapped thought, to somebody. Aren't I was you? strapped to somebody. So I felt a little bit more safe. You know, the guy who'd done it, he said he'd done thousands of jumps. So the likelihood of him dying on my one uh, was, pretty, was pretty slim. I was told anyway. <laughs> so it's an off your bucket list now. Have you got anything it's else you think I really want to do? Uh, no, I'm not really big into climbing mountains. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I wouldn't mind doing uh, one of those. Uh, skydive on my own without, without someone uh, attached to me that would be fun doing that that would be a little bit more scary because you feel the comfort of having someone else a professional strapped to you so doing it on my doing it myself I think mean, that would be a, a big adrenaline rush so after this next fight um, what's after that? Hopefully a heavyweight title shot. Mm-hmm. You know, for me, you know, regaining the heavyweight title is what, what it's all about. That's mm-hmm. my sole sole ambition now. You know, I've achieved everything there is in boxing. You know, I was the undisputed cruiserweight champion. I then went up to heavyweight and was the second man in history other than Evander the Holyfield to uh, capture the heavyweight championship. And uh, I lost it, and I'm looking at regaining it again. Yeah. You know, like great fighters, all great fighters lose, but um, it's how you come back from that loss you know I've shown in the past that I've come back from loss as well and, um, and and now is no different I really believe I can win the heavyweight championship again of course yeah well loads of Stoke people will be watching you Brilliant. at the MEN of course and enjoy tonight while you're in Stoke I will do I will do I'm looking forward to hearing some of the questions from the locals thank you very much cheers thank you. No problem. Thank you.